Jay. 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 The show has started. Jay. Oh, oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm just generating electricity with the turbine model of science. See, there are other ways to generate electricity than fossil fuels. And these methods are called alternative energy. Alternative Alternative Energy Science Rules Inertia is a property of matter. J Nye the Science Guy. J J J J J J J Nye the Science Guy. J J J J J J J J J Nye the Science Guy. Today's show was brought to you by British Petroleum. We here at British Petroleum generate some of the highest quality fossil fuels on the planet. Our careful planning and amazing technologies allows us to extract oil with no spills. Ever. In fact, some people believe our practices aren't sustainable. However, at BP, we know we will never run out of oil and that there are absolutely no pollutants. Currently, most of our energy is generated through fossil fuels. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to Nye Labs. Fossil fuels are fuels formed over millions of millions of years of Earth's natural processes, like the decomposition of buried dead organisms. This means that when we dig up energy sources like coal, petroleum, and natural gas, we're actually pulling from a very limited reserve. Additionally, fossil fuels create energy through combustion releasing CO2 and H2O, with CO2 being a potent greenhouse gas known to cause climate change. And this is a problem, because over 70% of, of our current energy comes from these fossil fuels. Now let's take a look at our whiteboard of science. Currently, there are four main sources of alternative energy, all of which create little to no pollution. Solar, wind, geothermal, and hydroelectric energy. Solar energy involves the conversion of sunlight into electricity and is mainly done through the use of solar panels. Oh, I see. However, low efficiency and the amount of space needed for solar panels limits this energy, uh, the energy that we can get from this practice. Uh -huh. Wind energy is another potential re fossil fuel re replacement by creating rotational energy from wind and using this to create energy. It is often created through turbines. However, new concerns have arisen in the effect of turbines on wildlife. <laughs> geothermal energy involves the use of natural heat released by the earth in geothermal vents. Reykjavik, Iceland. Come again? Reykjavik, Iceland. Wait, what? Oh. Uses geothermal energy for heating and electricity generation. Oh. Geothermal energy, however, requires a location where geothermal energy can be harnessed, limiting usability. Finally, hydroelectric energy involves the use of movement of Earth's waves to spin a turbine, generating electricity. Welcome to the Nifty Home Experiment. Alright kids, today we're gonna generate electricity through nuclear fission. Come again? Through nuclear fission. Wait, what? Are you sure this fission. is safe? Now all you'll need is uranium-235 and a free neutron. Now, the neutron is briefly absorbed by the uranium-235. However, this makes it unstable, causing it to split into krypton and barium which release excess neutrons causing the process to go on and on, releasing more, 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 and more, and more energy. Now, in an actual nuclear power plant, it's a much more complex process with control rods to limit the speed of the reaction, water for cooling, as well as the generation for steam to turn a turbine and power a generator.
Luckily, the practice of sustainable and alternative energy has started to make an impact in practice around the world and even at home in the great city of Portland, Oregon. Let's explore the Bonville Dam. To the Bonville Dam. The Bonville Dam is used for electric power generation in the city of Portland, Oregon, and was designated as a National Historic Landmark in 1987. It was constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and cost over $730 million to $730 million to $730 million to construct. The two main functions of the river and dam are to provide electricity and improve river navigation. These sustainable practices have had a large effect on the site, environment, and people. Let's take a look at the before and after machine of science. Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal program allowed the Army Corps of Engineers to develop the two powerhouses of the dam. There have, of course, been many impacts due to the creation of such a huge dam, with many different pros and cons. So please, consider the following. There are three main categories of effects, environmental, economic, and social, creating the triple bottom line, a triple bottom line, a triple bottom line. For environmental impacts, the dam blocked the migration of the white sturgeon downstream, diminishing their populations upstream and forcing a larger downstream population to develop. Further, the creation of fish ladders has forced the fish to live in, in concentrated populations, making them easier prey for the California sea lion. The impacts on salmon populations oh, have become worrisome. There are many positives in the dam's environmental impact, however, in that it removes some dependence on fossil fuels, creating electricity through alternative hydroelectric gas processing. This also has an important economic impact, as the creation of another source of energy improves the economy and creates jobs. Further, the dam and fish ladder have become a popular tourist attraction, as children get an interactive view of the process. The negative impacts can be seen, as the decline in fish hurts the fishing industry. In fact, an interesting controversy has been created by the Bonville's dam. FDR's administration wanted the energy produced by the dam to be a public municipality, preventing energy monopolies. However, advocates for private sale had a different viewpoint, wanting private companies to own the energy. Our president pushed through and created the Bonville Power Administration, giving the dam's power to the public and helping the dam generate about 5 billion kilowatt hours 5 billion kilowatt hours, Five billion kilowatt hours of energy a year. Well, thank you for rolling with the waves with me and considering the power. A way cool scientist from the Army Corps of Engineers was able to answer a few questions for us on the sustainable practices of the Bonneville Dam. Nicole Baker is our way cool scientist. La da 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 da, it's the one and only oil company BP. La da 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 da, you know they're working with the middle of the east. Yeah, 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 you know who's backing up those oil truckers. What, 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 what? So blend the oil up, man, combust it up, combust up, guys, yeah, blend the oil up, man. What's up, mice? Top dog, extract it all, man, burn that stuff up. N-I-M-B-Y, man, turn the pump up. Oil fly, sky high, we be tapping it up. And we'll be banking all the gold, government backs us up. Natural resource, power heat source, man, smoke that stuff up. Give me money, lots of honey, yeah, we blew the rig up. Oil's coming, bills dumb, and in the Gulf of Mexico, sip our capital 44, they're getting the dough. La da 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 da, it's the one and only oil company, BP. You know we're working with the middle of the east. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's how we go, guys. <laughs> well, that was our show. Thanks for watching. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go get a four on this apes project. Bye! Bye!
billion. Five billion. Five billion. Shoot. Oh, oh, way cool. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Martin.